Hello and welcome to Datacast Solutions Statistics and Data Mining 101 using Nine. In this chapter, we're going to cover normalization transformations to our data set. Numbers usually represent quantities and therefore they are excellent for data modeling purposes when building predictive models. Numeric quantities have an ordering, uh, which is going to be used by decision trees, and the ability to perform arithmetic, which is used by a lot of different algorithms such as clustering and neural networks. Um, and there are many ways that we can transform numeric quantities to make them even better. So one of the problems with the numbers is the scale. They're often in different scales, which is normal. For example, if I were to compare the annual salary of my employees to the number of children each employee has, well, that number would be, you know, most you have an annual salary of $100,000 and two children. So the scale of those two numbers is very different, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to push many mathematical formulas uh, to skew. It would be ideal if we could um, scale them in such a way without distorting their distributions. When we put numbers through a normalization process, what we're doing is we're making them fall within a specific range. For example, subtracting the minimum value and dividing by the range. Um, this process, it does not change the distribution form, it only changes the values. And normalization, again, I'm jumping a little bit ahead here, but normalization is going to be very common in neural networks and k-means clustering. Um, decision trees are generally unaffected by, by normalization. So each different data mining mechanism and algorithm, um, they don't all take advantage of the same features like this case normalization. When you look at it graphically, it's very easy to see. On the left with the original data, I have values that range from 0 to 7,000. Now, I've actually changed it so that I want all my numbers to be a factor between 0 and 1. Well, by changing the distribution, but by change, changing the values, but not the distribution, you can see the shape and the frequency of everything still remains the same. NIME is going to support built in automatically three forms of normalization. The min max is just a linear transformation where all the values um, such that the maximum and minimum are going to fall within that specific range are given. Another is z-score normalization. What it's going to do is also going to be a linear transformation, but that all the values are going to be a Gaussian distribution, which basically means the mean of the data set will be zero and the standard deviation is going to be one. And finally, there's normalization by decimal scaling. Um, it's kind of a brute force method where the maximum value, whether it's positive or negative, is divided by j times by 10, so j number of times by 10, until its absolute value is smaller than or equal to 1. And then all values of that column are then divided by j to the 10 to the power of j, excuse me. Let's, let's look at this and, and see how NIME is actually going to accomplish it, because it's actually quite simple. All right, I'm going to go ahead and continue with the workflow we've been using. And after I've applied my missing values, I'm now going to turn around and apply a normalizer. So in the node repository here, I'm going to search for normalizer. And I've got, interestingly enough, a normalizer, and NIME will allow you to denormalize as well. So I'm going to start by double clicking and adding the normalizer view. And to that, I'm also going to connect up to it the denormalizer. So they're, they're connected to one another. Um, the blue port here is the normalizing model. And the, the diamond, of course, is the data as it normally would. So in my normalizer node, it's showing me all of this data. And I can choose, again, the min-max function that I described, or z-score, or normalization by decimal scaling. I'm just going to go with min-max values of 0 to 1. And when I execute it and look at my normalized table, okay, 
Now age is a factor. You can see it's now at zero, 0, 0 0.5, 0 0.76, and so on. All of these are now on a scale of one to zero, which works great, like I said, when we're doing neural networks. Um, but it, it's not necessary, an unnecessary step when we're doing decision trees. So you'll learn when this is an appropriate technique and when it's not. The denormalizer function, okay, all it needs, there's no, there's no features to set. When you denormalize it and execute and look at the values, um, the ages have been converted back. So you can convert the data, run your modeling techniques, and then put the data right back to the way it was to continue your workflow. That completes this chapter of the class. Feel free to move on to the next chapter.